how, what are creative ways that Brett Yormark, without bringing Nelly to halftime, can compete with the SEC? What are creative ways that the Big 12 can compete with the Big 10? That's what I'm curious about. I'm not curious about a relationship with the WWE. I'm instead curious about how this league can compete in NIL and in the transfer portal and bring in more money per schools and maybe bringing in Colorado and Utah and Arizona and Arizona State can do that. Maybe it can, but I am not. I am not sold that the glitz and the glam, the being live at New in New York on Times Square is going to put this league right there with the top ones in the nation or above even the ACC if it stays together. Um, I don't. Well, what we saw today was embarrassing. The team that's leaving beat the, on paper, second best team in the Big 12 via standings and record, the second best team in the Big 12 was 28 points behind Texas today. Seeing that, all the country will talk about it. This will be the eternal scoreboard for Texas. They will hold it above the Big 12, and we'll all say, huh, yeah, that sucked. Still love it. Still love this conference. Still love how everybody can beat everybody. And every Saturday is stupid entertaining. But outside looking in, why would somebody who's a Wisconsin fan Tune into the Big 12. They're all tuning into the SEC, watching the SEC championship today because that matters to the college football playoff. What is going to keep America coming to the Big 12 to look at anything this conference is doing? That's where I take issue. That's where I wonder. I truly wonder what what is the future of the Big 12 now that Texas and OU are gone? And can it stay competitive? Not, Not in a branding way. Not in a branding way. Can it stay competitive on the field with other conferences in college football? That's what I need. I need championship competition. I don't need the Big 12 was cute this year. They all played each other really close and it was super fun. That works for me. It probably works for you. You probably like it. But at what point does this conference take a turn, if possible, to be in a national championship conversation? And who are the programs to do that? I don't think Oklahoma State displayed to you today that it's going to. I don't think Oklahoma State displayed to you that it's going to be a national championship contender or that it's going to dominate the Big 12. Oklahoma State might not go to the Big 12 championship again for the next five years. Not a knock on them, not a knock on Mike Gundy. But what we just saw at 49-21 doesn't show me, damn, everybody else in this conference should look at Oklahoma State as the team moving forward. We learned today the SEC is good and Texas is probably ready for it. We learned today that the Big 12 at some point has to commit being good on the field over having Nelly at halftime, over having a WWE relationship or playing the game at Times Square. All those things are cute, but you're still, you don't get any bonus points for that when the on the field product is 49-21. And we learned that Oklahoma State, by God, they had a great year this year. And Mike Gunny is a hell of a coach. But they are not the team to beat the rest of the way in the league. They're not the team to beat. And that's probably good for everybody else. Now does Texas go to the college football playoff? This Locked On Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's show, in brief, brought to you by FanDuel. FanDuel is where I go to make money at FanDuel. Right now, you can get $150 in credit with a $5 money line bet. You go there, it's like passive income. Today, I bet on Oklahoma State. Did you? I did. I, yeah, it was a moral thing for me. Morally, I needed to vote for Oklahoma State. I needed to put money on Oklahoma State to win the ball game, and I did. FanDuel robbed me today. They got the best of me. Your money line bet might have been on Texas at FanDuel.com forward slash locked on. A $5 money line bet on Texas gives you 150 bucks in free play. Who did you bet on today? Did you win money? I, I literally I teased it too. I teased it to Oklahoma State plus 21 and a half. And they still couldn't cover that. As the weather gets cold, you stay hot. NFL offers you great deals. NFL's partner, FanDuel, offers some great deals uh, using code locked on. FanDuel.com slash locked on. FanDuel official partner of the NFL.